Hey guys, how you doing today? So Launch has sent me their X431 Pro 3 Ace Elite. So thank you Launch uh, for sending this to me so we can take a look at it. Uh, first thing you'll notice, it comes in two, two different uh, cases. This case has your OBD connectors. So if you're going to need to connect up to older vehicles, which in my case, I don't, I don't hardly ever do anymore. I have not seen or worked on a car older than 96 in quite some time. So uh, I don't use these connectors hardly ever. But if you do, then you've got them and they're in a separate case. So you can keep this case kind of off to the side and not have to carry it around. Now the main scan tool comes, comes in its own case. So when you first get it, the BCI will be stuck right here in this little pocket. Once you connect the cord to it, this is the cord that's going to connect up to the car. Then you got your VCI, uh, which is their upgraded VCI, by the way. They call this the DBS Car 7, and it's their upgraded. It's heavy. It's heavy duty. It's faster than the uh, previous VCIs. But once you connect the cord to it, then you just keep it up here in this top compartment, and you're good to go. Uh, so I like that. Um, does come with a couple other connectors up here, charging adapters and whatnot. Get this thing shut up. So as far as the scan tool itself, this thing is, uh, it's got a two gigahertz, four core processor, runs Android 10, has a 10.1 inch screen, uh, you can buy the HD truck module, so you, this thing will work with uh, heavy-duty trucks. Does have topology, has online coding, offline programming, 41 plus resets. It is CAN FD and DOIP compatible. It is auto authority compatible. Uh, it has 12 in one graphing. It will work on 12 volt and 24 volt vehicles. It is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and it is ATIS uh, calibration ability. Now, I'm not going to hit intelligent diagnosis because we're not connected to a car. And if I did that, we'd be sitting here waiting for it to uh, find the car. And it never would find it because we're not connected. But I will hit local diagnosis. And I'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible. But there's some things under the other modules that you definitely want to see. So just real quick. Uh, and I'm just going to, right now we're selected to all. This is, uh, you know, if you was to manually go in and start selecting whatever car that you needed to, uh, to pick. And there they all are. Now, of course, you can use the camera to scan the uh, barcode or the QR code or do the uh, enter the van manually. Uh, service function is kind of a big deal. This is where all your main uh, bi-directional function buttons are. does have the add blue reset, brake reset, battery matching. I'll just let you read down through all these. Now, not all these are going to work on every car. You know, it is car dependent, so your car has to support, uh, for instance, tire reset or TPMS reset turbocharging matching, window calibration. So remote diagnosis is, is where you would uh, connect up to a uh, launch rep and they would help troubleshoot the tablet if he was having problems. Of course, you got your TPMS ability there. Of course, your software update button. Diagnostic history would be uh, if you wanted to go back into a car that you was connected to previously that keeps a history of the cars. Uh, of course, you got your feedback. If you had to leave feedback for launch to, uh, you know, maybe there was a problem with the tablet or it wasn't doing something on a particular car, you can uh, give feedback and let them know. Of course, your ATIS calibration, your mall. Uh, a couple of things that I want to show you in, in there that's nice to, uh, to have. Uh, now, as this comes out of the box, you have two years of free updates. So any car you connect it to, uh, you're going to be able to work with it for two years and have your updates. But we're going to go over here to EV, and we're just going to go to American. And look at that. You've got a Tesla option. So you can pay another $116, get the Tesla 
uh, software for this and you can connect it up to a Tesla and uh, troubleshoot Teslas. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is their motorcycle options. There's their motorcycle options. So if you've got a BMW or a Harley Davidson or Ducati or Indian, what, just about anything, uh, you can download the, uh, the motorcycle package. So let's get out of that. Vehicle coverage. Uh, if you want to know if this scan tool has a particular uh, ability on a particular car, you can go in here, you can click a car, you go into the system, and it will show you what this scan tool uh, will be able to do on different makes and models. We're not going to go through that because that, that would take a little bit of time to, to pull that up. Uh, info center, uh, pretty cool little deal here. So got a couple different buttons. You got a product manual, you got facts, but if you go here to the repair, the one thing I like, operation tips. We'll just click that and we'll just click Audi. And I don't know, we'll just, we'll click this right here, uh, air suspension. Let it download. It's actually downloading from their server. And right here, out of your suspension, matching operation. And it'll walk you right through what you need to do to uh, fix this problem. So pretty nice little option there. Uh, now, this is the big deal that I was wanting to show you. So, of course, you got Recording ma uh, Master, which is what I use to screen capture... Uh, these videos got, got calculator, browser, Gmail, camera, gallery, files, and tablet settings. But if you go here into toolbox, you can see you've got a bunch of different uh, additional components you can buy for the scan tool to increase its functionality. Uh, and th we'll just click the first one, the oscilloscope. A couple different oscilloscopes you can buy. You got the 021 and 022 scope box. Not sure what the difference between both them are. Um, it'd be nice to have one of them so I could connect it up here and show you exactly what it could do. But we're going to go in here to the screen and we'll get into what we can get into to kind of show you, uh, you know, what the layout is. So here's the layout of the, the main screen. But the, the nicest thing is if, if we had the box set up and connected to the, uh, scan tool, you go here to automotive, you've got all these options right here. So you go into circuits, you know, right now it's set to alternator, AC ripple, you got 12 volt charging, um, go into sensors, you got all your different sensors, go to ABS sensor, accelerator pedal, fuel pressure, and then you've got your OK button down there. Once once you're connected up and you hit fuel pressure, it sets everything up for you. So when you hit OK, uh, you should be pretty close uh, to, to the way it needs to be set up so that you can check, you know, your system out. Got actuators, diesel glow plugs, carbon canister, solenoid valve, uh, ignition, network. So you got your CAN network. You've got all your networks combination pretty nice little layout here for a scope be nice to have a scope and now the, the scope 2-2 we'll just hit demo kind of got a similar similar deal Whoop. there's your circuits sensor, actuators, ignition, networks, and combination. So they got a real nice scope set up on, on this scan tool. You got sensor box that you can buy, hook up, uh, throw position sensor. If you go back, you got sensor, actuator, define, drawn, timing, waveform, multimeter, system settings. Multimeter. Uh, 
uh, got their battery checker. So you, uh, the battery checker, you just connect to a battery. It'll Bluetooth to the scan tool, and uh, you can do a battery health check, starting t test, or a uh, charging. Uh, key programmer, uh, actually an immobilizer programmer. Uh, that's their Prog 3 immobilizer box. It, now, this scan tool will program a lot of keys, and it even pulls pin codes on a lot of cars. But if you want the full key programming ability, then you want to buy the immobilizer programmer. Um, they've also got an individual key programmer that will click it. Um, there's the options that if you had the key programmer, uh, what you'd be able to do with it. So really, you know, I mean, they have really made this scan tool to where you can expand it about as far as you want. Of course, video scope is like a bore scope. Uh, you know, you can run a little camera down a spark plug hole or in an area that you can't normally see. And uh, you'll have a nice big screen here to be able to view it on. The current clamp, from what I read, uh, they kind of intended for that to be an EV diagnosing tool but I don't see why you couldn't use this on anything you needed to check current on uh, it's a current clamp that uh, you buy separately and it'll show you know the current readings uh, really nice feature really really handy uh, tool uh, to have I'd like to have that so that I could uh, show you how to uh, use it uh, got another oscilloscope I'll click it just to kind of show you what it looks like. It's a different layout. I guess it's for a different oscilloscope. they got two or three different oscilloscopes you can buy. Uh, got another multimeter. Uh, of course, you got your key programmer. Now, this insulation tester, I believe, is dedicated uh, for EV cars, electric vehicles. So... Uh, you know, I guess there's checks that you need to do on the insulation of those high voltage batteries. Anyway, that's a quick overview. We're not going to connect it to a car right now, but what I will do is we'll go here to local diagnose. Uh, we're going to hit all, and I'm going to hit demo, and we'll hit OK. And let's see here. We'll just do Volkswagen. We'll do the Atlas. And if we hit smart detection, it will go through, and this is a simulation, but if you was connected to a car, this is what you would get. Now, of course, you can see it's got topology. Anything green is normal. Anything red with a number is abnormal, meaning you've got a code, and it'll tell you how many codes you've got. And if you select that, it'll tell you what codes uh, are, are there. You can hit enter and enter that module. Let's see how far this will let us go. So I just hit enter. Uh, of course, you can look at your live data. You can erase the codes. Module information tells you everything about the module. Of course, your actuation test. Adaptation. Access permission. There's your adaptation. And different cars are going to have different actuation tests, special functions, all that. Uh, basic settings. So, very capable can a scan tool. Uh, this, is, this is a very nice scan tool. If you're looking for a high-end scan tool, uh, I think you would really be impressed with this one. Uh, just to give you an idea of what, what it looks like, there's the bottom, there's the side, the side, under this little cover, you've got USB-A, this one, USB-C. Back, you got a nice kickstand, nice camera, nice rugged case. I love, I love the case. It's kind of a grayish well, finish on it. It does auto rotate, which is nice because sometimes uh, if you want to get more data and it's not very wide, you can rotate it to the side and have uh, a longer list of data pids. 
but uh, I don't want this video to get any longer than it has to be. So we're pretty much done. I am going to be doing more videos on this and hooking it to cars and showing you, uh, you know, what it what it has, what abilities it has as far as special functions and active tests. And uh, launch is having Prime Week on Amazon during July 10th to the 15th. So if you want a really good deal, uh, you might check them out during those dates to uh, see what kind of prices they're going to have. Uh, this is definitely a scan tool that is going to do everything you're going to need it to do. Anyway, we're done. Uh, this is the launch X431 Pro 3 Ace Elite. And I'm out. You guys take care.